In today's modern vernacular Arabic, the word hijab refers to a headscarf. Yet in classical Arabic and in the language of the Quran, hijab refers to a physical curtain, a screen, a partition, or a barrier that separates one from others when they stood behind a curtain. The one that is being covered by or that is found behind the hijab is not only covering their head and whole body, but also the space around them as they stand behind a curtain, a screen, a partition, or a barrier. According to the Holy Quran, this type of covering was an extra layer of coverage required to be worn only by Prophet Muhammad's wives. And when you ask his wives for something, ask them from behind a partition that is pure for your hearts and their hearts. Quran 33-53 Not only did the Prophet's wives have to cover their heads and body, but they were required to place a cover or a curtain in front of them to conceal their space when speaking to people other than their mahram, a person whom that individual is not permitted to marry because of their close blood relationship such as a brother, uncle, nephew, etc. Extra rules of etiquette pertaining to the manner in which one would speak to the wives of the Prophet were given by the Almighty, the All-Wise, dictating that there should stand a physical separation of the noble woman from the common folk, by way of a barrier that would be opaque, not see-through, and impenetrable. It provided an extra layer of privacy, and is simultaneously a symbol of their high status and dignity. It's important to express that the classic meaning of the term hijab in the Holy Quran is not the same as how we understand and use the term today. The wearing of the hijab was not required by anyone other than the Prophet's wives, as is outlined in the Holy Quran. As for all other women, the Quran explicitly instructs that women should wear a headscarf in a different verse and tell the believing women to reduce some of their vision and guard their private parts and not expose their adornments except that which is necessarily appears therefore and to wrap a portion of it their head covers over their chests and not expose their adornment except to their husbands to the end of the verse the holy quran uses the word khimar to refer to a headscarf that which covers your head the word khimar comes from a root word which means to cover something the word khimar is similar to the Arabic word khamr, which is the word for alcohol, as alcohol impairs one's intellect. One cannot think straight while under the influence of alcohol, as it creates a barrier between the mind and the power of speech and reasoning. God states in his book, Tell the believing women to wear their khumr, the plural of khimar, over their bosom as in to throw their shawl over and cover their chest area. So in addition to covering one's chest, the head should be covered too, as the covering of the head is already implied by the use of the word khumr in this verse. So the basic essentials of the khimar dictate that the hair be covered and that a cloth cover the chest of the woman. Whereas generally speaking, the women of the days of the Prophet would wear headscarves. Some of them would expose their chest area by pushing their headscarf back. So they were commanded by God to cover their chest area in addition. In addition to covering the head, neck, and chest area, God instructs the believing Muslim women to throw onto themselves a jilbab, which references a loose outer garment, which does not define their body shape and conceal her beauty. This is in reference to a situation in which a Muslima leaves her home or is in the presence of those who are not her mahram. O Prophet, tell your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers to bring down over themselves part of their outer garment that is more suitable and they will be known and not be abused and ever is Allah forgiving and merciful. Quran 33:59. Because these verses in the Holy Quran are very explicit and direct, no disagreements or disputes have been posed to this direct edict by representatives of the Islamic scholarship in the past, except when it concerns the issue of whether women should also cover their face and feet. The primary reason as to why a Muslim woman wears the hijab Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.